wanted to have more fun and have more action and really deliver the home that we thought audiences wanted to see. As soon as I heard that there was a possible part, I was desperate to be a part of it. No. I feel incredibly excited to be so part of it. Such an extraordinary magic. Please make it a challenge for me. They started out 
with Thor, Ant-Man, Hulk, and Iron Man. The Avengers started out in 1963. It started out in 1963, and all of the heroes had already been ex in existence, but they came together to help. The Avengers is a team of superheroes first appearing in comic books published by Marvel Comics. The team made its debut in the Avengers number one, September 1963. Written by, created by uh, writer Stan Lee and artist Jack Kirby. Labeled Earth's Mightiest Heroes, the Avengers originally consisted of Iron Man, Ant-Man, the Wasp, who's actually not listed, but you can see him in the picture. The Wasp or her? Oh. I'm oh, sorry, Wasp, you can see her. Thor and the Hulk. The original Captain America was discovered trapped in ice by them and joined the group after they revived him. Their hallmark is a rotating roster. And so anytime you get the Avengers together, the call cries out, Avengers assemble! And that's when the Avengers come together to fight any uh, threat that no one superhero can withstand. Well, over the years, we've accumulated quite a few, and eventually I call this slide Too Many Avengers, because they got to the point where they were told, only five of you can remain, the rest of you out. So that's why we say our dream team is consisting of five people, five superheroes. You're limited to five superheroes. Sorry about that. Okay, so we know that nowadays they've whittled the Avengers down to a smaller team and the Avengers initiative is the one that has saved the day in the past. Do you think that it's going to be the same group coming back together for Avengers 2? How many people think we're going to see the same team in the next movie? How many people think they're going to switch the lineup around a little bit? <laughs> it's like Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant Man's going to Well, of course, the next movie is going to be called Avengers Age of Ultron. So we know at least one of the villains is going to show up. It's hard to work with gloves. <laughs> And this movie comes out, it's coming out September 2015. Oh, actually, the next one. Summer. 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 In Summer. May. That's right there. Okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to give you a chance to let us know who your dream team is. <laughs> My dream team, too. Um, we're going to let you uh, tell us your five member dream team. If you are with a group, what we want you to do is to stand up a, a representative from your group. You'll get a dart. You'll hit a villain. We'll tell you what your situation is. And we'll give you a couple of minutes to figure out what you're going to do about it. Okay? When we get done, we're going to bring you back and let you either tell us or cosplay for us if you want to what you would do about it. Okay? Um, the audience is going to help us decide who is victorious and who came up with the best solution to the scenario that they're in. Okay? So, if you're interested in participation, what you need to do is sign up at the back there. Let us know that you're going to be participating and you need to go do it now. All right? So, if you want to sign up to participate, please go, go to the back and, and go do it now.
Okay. We're going to do a rundown of some of our villains. Can you name some of the villains for us? Yeah, we're going to show you some of the villains right now. Okay. So Katie's going to talk about the Scarlet Witch. So the Scarlet Witch, also known as Wanda Maximoff, is the daughter of supervillain Magneto. She debuted together with her twin brother Quicksilver, Pietro Maximoff, as a part of the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants in X-Men. In X-Men number four, March, that came out in March 1964. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She was only a villain for a short time, but she wreaked a lot of havoc. Give it up for Scarlet Witch. The Demolisher is a fictional cyborg character. Um, at least three subsequent Marvel characters have used the Deathlock identity since then. Um, a recurring, thing, a recurring theme among these characters is that a dead human has been reanimated with cybernetic technology. Deathlock technology has also been used thematically by Marvel writers in other stories. Uh, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode Tracks, recurring character Mike Peterson, played by Jay Og August Richards, sorry, um, is supplied a cybernetic right leg by Ian Quinn and Carlo Mancini of Cybertech to replace the lower part of the right leg that he lost in an explosion. And this was done under the orders of the clairvoyant. The final shot of the episode revealed that the leg is part of the death project death block. Okay. The lights went out. Does that mean we have another? Uh-oh, who's that? Scarlet Witch, your people did not go unnoticed. I am the voice of the innocent that has suffered because of you. I am their revenge. <laughs> To the original to the ringmaster of death. Closer to the chair. Um, and his wife, Lola. Um, he inherited the circus when his parents were murdered. The ringmaster is a powerless man with a unique hat which is designed to hypnotize people, thus allowing him to take complete control over their actions. Yes. And he traveled across America uh, with a small traveling circus, which was actually a front for his circus of crime. The human cannonball, the clown, Bruto the strongman, the great Gambonos, and Princess Python, the snake char charmer, traveled along with him. Okay, and moving on to our latest villain. Has anybody been to see the Winter Soldier? Okay, so we have a new super villain that we have to be aware of, Bucky Barnes. Yes. James Bond. 
stars. You did not know that. You saw the trailers, right? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so he, <laughs> James Barn, named after James Buchanan, um, was unofficially adopted by the U.S. Army Camp Lahai in Virginia as a mascot, nicknamed Bucky. He takes to wearing a uniform um, and becoming savvy with the in and outs of military life as a child, even though he was just a teenager. Um, and he befriends Steve Rogers there. He, by, when he accidentally walked in on Steve Rogers changing into his uniform, discovering that his friend was Captain America, uh, he insisted that he join him. He underwent extensive training and was assigned to be Captain America's partner. They fight the Red Skull together, and Captain America accepts Bucky as his partner. Together, they fight Nazis at home and abroad as a duo and as part of the superhero team known as the Invaders. In the closing days of World War II in 1945, Captain America and Bucky tried to stop the villainous Baron Zemo from destroying an experimental uh, drone plane. Zemo launches the plane with an armed explosive device on it with Rogers and Barnes in hot pursuit. They reach the plane just before it takes off. Bucky unsuccessfully tries to defuse the bomb and it explodes in mid-air before reaching its intended target. He um, is believed to have been killed in action as Rogers is hurled into the freezing waters of the North Atlantic. We all know that that didn't happen now. Shall I? Okay, so next one is the Taskmaster. because it looks like our interactive play is turning into an interactive chat. <laughs> Maybe someone will come up with uh, their dream team while we talk about ours. Okay, so, yeah, let's, let's ask the Scarlet Witch who her dream team would be. Okay, everyone, this is Gypsy, the Scarlet Witch. Give her a hand. Someone with super strength. That's four. Oh, four had super strength. Yeah, another one. 
I think you need to step to the side and think about how you're going to deal with the scenario that we're going to bring up for you. Okay, you're right. Okay, you're right. Um, you just locked them in the room with zombie station every like 20 feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give it up. Write, write a letter to the quiet con owners and be like, yo, hot pocket stations every 20 feet, please. <laughs> Doing everybody a favor. A suggestion box. A suggestion box. Okay. Alright, there you okay. go. All right. So we've got your scenario, dude. Alright, let's hear it. team would do it, they would be all like, no, we're okay with this. Tell you what, we're going to hold the world ransom for all the world's ice cream. And then they'll just, <laughs> and then they'll, they'll just call it a day. And you know what? Because they're my team, they're going to give me some ice cream too. So I'm actually okay with this. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Yeah, what's up? So we would see yourself several different options Oh, that's a very good question. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say you mind control the, the part of his personality that breaks the fourth wall. <laughs> so he just has lots of conversations with himself and and the audience like he normally does. Yeah. Your powers are useless. I'm sorry, Scarlet Witch. My team wins, and ultimately so do I because I get all that ice cream. <laughs> Universe. Okay. 
Because I'm a huge fan, I have to have a Loki. A Loki. I have to have a Loki. And without Loki, there can't be a. There has to be a Thor. Without Thor, there's no Loki. Yes. A lot of people agree with me, don't you? And then. No. I apologize. I. I don't do that stuff. I apologize. <laughs> Um, and then my next one would have to be Captain America, because I really like, I do like oh, Captain America. And, um, that's three people, right? Okay, so, I love Deadpool. So, Deadpool has to be on my team. And then my last one was really tough, so I couldn't really decide, so, might as well have Iron Man on it. Yeah! 
ninja. <laughs> They're all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all up into it, buddy. You have to take on her left side. Hey. All right. Starship or something like that. Cal would probably go with them. Deadpool would probably just deal with hell. Yeah! <laughs> and kill everything. <laughs> well, Deadpool's probably good at espionage anyway, so. Uh, yeah. And then once they get to the Hydra uh, hideout, all out of war and slaughter, and blood, and Deadpool. So I'm pretty sure Loki brings his armada, so yeah. it's going to be... He was just cool. Yeah. Although, didn't he He die? betrays them. Oh, no, it's oh, no, right. Yeah. Thor is obviously not happy about hey, that. Again. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that, you know, Iron Man... His gadgets and stuff can oh, okay. blow up a lot of things. <laughs> and then there's well, and Thor. He's a god of thunder. So he'll use his powers. And, um. Yeah. I said, oh, yeah, there's Deadpool. Deadpool. <laughs> I have a better way bigger. Um. Like. Oh, Deadpool would. Venom I'm pretty sure Deadpool would be okay. Defeating son. everything. And that's, you know what? I don't know because Loki is on my team, so <laughs> I don't know how that helps because he just betrays them right there. That's pretty much it. We would win anyways. <laughs> Deadpool wins by default. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea how. <laughs> All right, who's our next? Dream team, bring our next dream team. Come on, you know you want to share your dream team. Okay, try again. Pick something good, okay? 
Star Trek, any kind of sci-fi, any kind of interesting gaming, anything that's um, interesting to you guys. So please check our table out across the way over there. Our next event is going to be going to see Captain America next Saturday. We're going to go to the 315 show over at Ward. Sorry, Ward. The 315 show at Ward. And uh, we're going to give a door prize. So come on out. Um, you can wear a pa uh, win a pair of Captain America headphones. One more time. So, so that's next Saturday. What the, the date is? The 12th of April, I believe. Yes, it is. And it's 3:15 show at the Regal Cinema. Okay. Wait. Ward. 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 At Ward. At Ward Theaters. Please next look us up on Facebook. It'll be under our events. <laughs> <laughs> we are on Facebook. It will be next Saturday, April 12th at 3.15 at Ward Theatres. You can come dressed up. We're doing it as a group. We're going to go and see Captain America and the Winter Soldier. And like us on Facebook. Join our group. Engage in the conversation. We love sharing little tidbits and you can find out all the cool stuff. Okay, we're going to ask our last dream team to come back up and then we're going to bring our, our, the rest of our groups our dream teams up and decide who the winner is. So come on up and let us hear what your solution is to the situation. Oh, they're still thinking. Do you need like another minute? Yeah, they're going to kick us out of the room in a minute, so I'm just going to hurry up a little bit. Sorry. I'm sure, I'm sure you're the general talk. Would you like a little help from the audience? Okay. I think the audience could probably help out. What do you think that she should do? Okay, so check it. Tony is the new Black Panther. And Steve is the new Hawkeye. Carol, who's Miss Marvel, is the new Iron Man. T'Challa, who was Black Panther, is now Captain America. And Hawkeye is now Miss Marvel. What is going on? <laughs> what, what do we do? Hawkeye initiative. <laughs> yeah, Hawkeye can fly. Okay, so Hawkeye can fly. Super powers. Are they trying to get their powers back? Or no, they're trying to keep the Tesseract away from the villain. And then get their powers back. And I assume get their powers back. We're not worried about their powers right now. They're worried about the villain with their new powers. So yeah, you. Okay, so then they team up, but then there's somebody left out. So they're because there's five. Okay, so Tony's gonna be distraction because he's not flexible enough to be the Black Panther. <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's Captain America. He must have something. Who has what? Tony? 
has Black Panther's powers, uh -huh. and Miss Marvel has has the Iron Man suit. Oh, no, she, she would kick ass. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. She's always yeah, familiar with being super powerful.